Today, we're going to look at how our apps are going to look like and behave in Xcode 26. So I have two versions of the app here, one built with Xcode 16.2, and on the right, built with Xcode 26 beta. So we're going to see how this, some of the UI components are looking and behaving differently. And we're also going to take a look at some issues. But please keep in mind that it's the first beta available. There will be more beta or release candidate releases coming from Apple. And with each version, some issues are going to be fixed. But still, it's important to take a look at what's working, what's not working at the moment, and keep an eye on what's being fixed. And also, as you come up with different issues, please make sure that you rep report them to Apple as well. Um, before I start, uh, I will tell you that this app is actually um, built with a mixed approach. So the views are built in Swift UI, but the navigation is managed with UI Kit. So the UI tabbar controller, UI navigation controllers are used in this project, and every Swift UI view is embedded in a hosting controller. So depending on your use case, some issues may not be present or more issues may be present if it's a fully UIKit application or if it's a fully Swift UI application, but I doubt it though. Okay, so now let's get started. So these are two identical applications in two identical states. As I said, this is the previous version with Xcode 16.2. So it's a workout tracker application that I'm building and now we're gonna see what has changed. So the first thing we can take a look at on the right with the new uh, Xcode 26, is the tab bar. As you can see, the tab bar looks different. And I already see an issue here because there's too much spacing between the icons and the text of the tab bar items. But if I tap on it, it fixes itself. Like the moment I tap on the items, now the spacing between the icon and the text is reduced and it fixes itself. But the first launch, it will be broken. Uh, probably something will be fixed in the upcoming releases, but let's see. Also, we can keep you know, drag, dragging our finger on the tab bar. And as we drag, the selection changes on the UI until, but it doesn't change the actual selection until we let go. So if I just let go here on the workout, only then the selection changes. As you may remember, we don't have such a thing in the previous version. We just have to tap on it directly. Um, one thing I realized is that when we tap on it, the animation looks a bit jumpy and blinky, like a bit kind of weird. So it might also be kind of a UI bug. But yeah, just something to mention. Okay, so that's all I can tell about the tab bar. Um, now I would like to move on to some navigation bar issues that I realized. So if I come here in the old version and I tap on a workout and start a workout, uh, I usually have here a timer to show me the duration of a workout. And if you do it the same in the new version, Unfortunately, the duration is not visible. It's clipped. And it's also interesting to see that this, the duration and the dismiss button, they are kind of grouped. Maybe that's also what's causing this issue. Um, I heard in a session in WWDC, uh, I was mentioning something like a toolbar item spacing or something. We probably can fix that with that, but I didn't try it out yet. So yeah. Um, as we scroll down, as you can see, the navigation title goes up as you could expect with a um, kind of like a shadow. Um, but as you see, this exercises text here, this is a section header in the list. It used to have a background by default. Now that background is gone. And as you can see, this exercises text is merging with the image. So making it hard to realize what's that. But in the previous version, as you can see, as we scroll down, that had it would have a background as well. So we wouldn't have that problem. Also, some font changes happened. Uh, this exercise is, uh, is bigger now, the font, the default font for the header. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at what happens if we go into an exercise. So I select an exercise to log it and I also do the same here. The first thing comes up is that we still have that issue here that the duration is not visible, but we also don't have our large title like large navigation title bench press. So on the left, we can see that the large title is visible. And if you add more sets and we try to scroll, I think it's not going to happen here. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you could scroll now, we could see that the bench press showing up here, but the large title is broken. So that's another issue that unfortunately we have. Um, 
and if we also go here, the video player, we have the default video player and controls. Um, they are, um, as usual, to go back in time or forward. We still have them in the new version. But as I click on it and let go, there is some weird blinking animation around the control. So this is also not nice. And I think they might be fixed, hopefully. That's something to watch out as well. And again, the the title of the view where the navigation controller is visible and that is presented, the title is gone. This is like what I could come up with, like why it's causing this issue. Um, so, one other thing we can take a look at is the, how the confirmation dialog looks like. So if you come here and then you just lock this exercise and then also do the same for the new one. And then if here we try to complete, we're going to receive an alert. And the same alert will look different now. And it's I think it looks better in my opinion. Like uh, it reads better, looks nicer. The text is left aligned now. And the, mo the most important thing I like is that the, the recommended action is now highlighted much better. So in this case, the recommended action is no. And as you can see, the button has blue background. And in the, in the previous version, as you can see, it was just the, the font weight of the no would just be a bit bolder. So I think this is better. Um, yeah, so let's just save it. Um, here, there's not much to say. So I'm just going to close this. Um, Okay, so one important thing is that uh, the the application breaks when the hide hides bottom bar when push the set to true on a view controller. So it doesn't break, but it just doesn't work. the The bottom bar is always visible. So I, if I show you here, so in this hosting controller I have, I set hides bottom bar when push to true, but unfortunately. It's uh, not working in Xcode 26. So if you come here and, for example, go to workouts and select the workout and say edit. Here, if you come down and say add exercises, we don't have bottom bar because we set height bottom bar and push the true. But over here, if you do the same um, and come here, edit, go down and select add exercises. Unfortunately, the bottom bar is visible, the top bar, and it's a problem because now the, you know, save button over here, like add to, add to workout button over here is now hidden behind the tab bar and I cannot tap it because I designed it in the past to ignore safe area. So this is another issue, but it, I think it's like, a, it's, a, it's a general problem. It hides bottom bar when pushed. So yeah, keep this in mind as well. And um, also another thing we just saw if like if we come here and then like you know go back to the workouts and then tap on the cart and see that this confirmation dialog, like an action sheet controller from the from UI kit, it used to look like this, right? On the left. We just have the options and the cancel at the bottom. But now it looks different. So as you can see, it shows on top of the page. Um so it's still visible with the options. I mean you don't have cancel, you just tap wherever, then it will dismiss itself. But it still kind of looks weird because it looks like it's coming up from somewhere, like it needs an anchor point. Um, there are probably going to be ways to configure it to just show on where you tap it. Like probably it will be nice to show from these dots I'm tapping. But at the moment, with the default behavior with no changes, it looks like this. So that's another change we have with this new uh, design changes. Um, there are also some different changes with the picker. I can quickly show you as well how they look like. Like here I have some pickers. For example, I could select the rest timer duration and I can make a selection and update it easily. Um, same goes here as well. But um, when we make a selection or we just let go, there is again this kind of weird blinking, disappearing animation. It doesn't look so nice, so kind of buggy. So it might also go away soon. Hopefully, like in the future beta versions. Um, another change that I can mention is that um, this is a form, by the way. What we are looking at here is a form with different sections. Now we have different corner radius for the body of uh, form sections, which looks nicer, I think. And also these section headers used to be uppercase. So on the left, you can see all these section headers. 
are uppercase by default. Like uh, you couldn't change that. But now on the right, they are not uppercase. They're just whatever you give them. And they're also a bit bigger and a bit bolder, I think. So I think that looks nice. Um, yeah, that's also how the pictures kind of look like at the moment. There's a bit blinking behavior. And there's also, you know, segmented control that I can quickly show you as well to show you how it looks like. So if you keep on pressing the segmented control, there is this kind of liquid animation. It looks nice. And when we let go, you just switch to that um, segment. And in the previous version, yeah, we didn't have that kind of animation, of course. So I think this is also something that looks cool. Um, also, in general, the back buttons are like not showing text unnecessarily anymore. So here, for example, on the left, we will see activities. Or in some cases, we will see back. And now we don't have that anymore. Um, one important issue I come across that I would like to mention is that when we pop a view controller on a navigation controller programmatically, it creates an annoying bug. And can be really frustrating. And this is really something I hope it will be fixed by Apple soon. But yeah, that can be really dangerous because it doesn't only break it in the on the UI, but it also breaks the user flow. So I'm going to show you now. Um, if I'm here on the right, so I'm in the Activities tab, and I select the workout. And then I can go to the exercise, and I can edit or delete it. Right. So I want to show you on the left how it used to behave. In the, in the working version with Xcode 16.2. So I could go to Workout, come to an exercise, and I could just delete it. And since this is the only exercise in the workout, it would also delete the workout. And what we're going to see is that two popping animations, one after another. So let's see. So I hit Delete, I Confirm, we pop twice, and now the workout is gone. So let's do the same here. I'm going to come here and say Delete and confirm. As you can see, we didn't see two different animations, two different popping animations. We immediately animated to the previous page. And what happened is that now we have a broken navigation bar. So we have a back button, we have edit button, and we have a weird uh, title that is supposed to be a workout title from the workout view. But since we programmatically popped the view controllers, it's in a broken state. And first, you might be thinking, like, maybe it's just a UI bug and it's not that dangerous. But unfortunately, it's not just a UI bug. So if I go here and tap on See More, I'm pushing another view. But now I won't be able to go back anymore because the navigation bar is broken. So this is really the most scariest thing I've seen. Like, also, hides bottom bar when pushed bug is also serious. But this is also really um, dangerous, and I hope it will be fixed soon. Um, so yeah, these are the things that I come up with, like I've, I've experienced in my app. So I was just checking around the, the features I have. Um, so yeah, um, of course, you might experience different uh, bugs, different issues, behavior changes from um, your app as well. Uh, maybe I can also quickly show you how the search bar behaves. And if I go to single exercises, search works fine, I think. It looks a bit different, like if I would tap here. We would use to get cancel, and now we have dismiss button, and we can just search, and just works fine, um, and you can just you know cancel it. So that seems fine as well. Of course, again some corner radius changes. Um, so yeah, that's is again what I what issues I've seen so far, and yeah, depending on your app, you might also see different behaviors. So let me know. Um, if you also have similar or different issues in your apps um, and hope those will be fixed, always keep an eye on the new releases for Xcode 26 because many of the issues are going to be fixed by Apple. And by the time we get to uh, actual release version, this should be much more stable. But it's still interesting to see how it is at the moment, what kind of UI changes we are going to experience. So yeah, I in general, I, I like it. I find it cool to how the new liquid glass design looks like. But yeah, let me know what you think about it, how you feel about it, and yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you next time.